survival of the fittest. Competition between individuals of a species is the driving force behind natural selection. Natural selection is the process whereby some individuals live to reproducing the environment while others do not. Natural selection ensures that, in general, only the best adapted individuals survive and reproduce. Natural selection happens as individuals of a species compete for resources, such as food, water, territory, sunlight, attracting mating partners, or cover from predators. Where individuals of a species vary in characteristics that produce these advantages, those individuals that are best adapted win out over the others because they're the ones best suited for survival in their environment. The tendency for the most adapted organisms to survive and reproduce helps the population to pass on useful traits and abilities to future generations. Although it's not always clear what will be advantageous at any point in time or in different places, for example, having the ability to withstand low dissolved oxygen isn't really an advantage if you're a fish that lives where there's always plenty of dissolved oxygen. As a result, certain characteristics of individuals of species change over time as the species adapts to the environment in which it lives. All aquatic plants and animals, including fish, have adapted characteristics over millions of years that allow them to live in today's aquatic environments. Pictured are Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. These are considered the most endangered sea turtle in the world. They're particularly subject to predation when the newly hatched sea turtles move from the nest down to the water. Females make nests and lay their eggs on the higher part of the beach. When the turtles hatch, they have to quickly run down the beach into the water to escape predators, particularly avian predators. Where these nests are, are known, and, and there are a number of, of uh, release programs to try and help, these species, help this species survive, volunteers help protect the tiny sea turtles from uh, predation. You can see pictured here uh, a net over an area where sea turtles are being released. They're very tiny. They're very, very easily caught by seagulls and, and other predators. The National Park Service is in charge of the Kemp's Ridley Restoration Program on Padre Island near Corpus Christi. You can see the little sea turtles moving. The net overhead protects from birds swooping down and taking the individual sea turtles. <laughs> 